Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be talking about the eight must-have bonefish flies to use from the Bahamas to the Seychelles and everywhere in between. Stay tuned. All right, first up, our number one must-have bonefish fly is, of course, the gotcha. It's very likely that more bonefish have been caught on a gotcha than all other flies combined, and it is the absolute best bonefish fly I've ever used. It's a simple pattern, and I'm not quite sure what it imitates. Maybe a little minnow, maybe a shrimp, maybe just something in between. And it's super easy to tie. Just a little flash, some craft fur, but it will catch fish absolutely anywhere. And I really like some of the variations on this gotcha as well. So, I, when I'm tying them, I will tie them with fox hair, which seems to give it a little bit more of a lifelike action in the water. And you can also tie them with silly legs. And this one here is blind, so that's gonna be a great option as well. Of course, the gotcha's been morphed into lots and lots of patterns. This one here is the Bone Crusher from Drew Chacon. And you can see that this is pretty much just a gotcha variation here, but he's added some legs and a little bit different coloration than a standard gotcha. The bottom line is, if you have one fly for any bonefish trip, make it a gotcha in one of its many variations and you're gonna catch lots of fish. Next up, is the Crazy Charlie, which is probably the second most popular bonefish fly in the world. And I like the Crazy Charlie in smaller sizes and lighter weights than the Gotcha. I think this works better as a fly that's blind and better in say a size eight or 10 than the Gotcha does. But really, it's a pretty simple pattern. Again, imitating something between a shrimp and a minnow, and it just, catches fish. Third on our list comes the Christmas Island Special. And while I would say that this is sort of a variation on the gotcha again, it's different enough and it's come with enough acclaim that it's worth mentioning on its own. Specifically, the Christmas Island Special is designed with lots of flash. So this fly is gonna really stand out on that flat. And when I was in Christmas Island, the water wasn't super clear. So you needed a fly that the bonefish could see, and that's where the flash comes in. This fly is bright and gaudy. While it obviously works in Christmas Island, I've caught bonefish in the Bahamas, in Mexico, and even Belize on this fly. Up next is Pop's Bonefish Bitters. Now this fly was designed at Turniff, and as you'd expect, it catches Belizean bonefish really, really well. But what I've found is that the bonefish bitter is a must-have pattern in your bonefish box. When bonefish are feeding on something other than shrimp and minnows, this is where the bitters comes in. It's sort of like a little crab, hermit crab imitation, and you fish it in a much slower, more methodical way than you would a traditional gotcha. But more importantly, when the bonefish are picky, it's the bitters that tends to catch them when all other patterns fail. Number five on our list is Viverka's Mantis Shrimp. Now we talked about this fly in our must-have flies for Belize, and it's a great crossover pattern. Bonefish love it, so do permit, and you can even use it as a stand-in pattern for, say, striped bass that are feeding on flats. This is just a fantastic all-around shrimp pattern, and you'll find that it works best for bonefish in smaller sizes. Think sixes and eights. If you size up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that those fish are gonna be big enough to get their mouth around a much larger fly. In that same vein is one of my favorite and absolute must have flies for any flats destination is the EP spawning shrimp. And since we're talking about bonefish flies, I've got one of the smaller versions in a bead chain. And this would probably be what I would use as a bonefish fly as opposed to, say, a size two with lead eyes. That's gonna be much more of a permit fly or a general attractor pattern. 
The smaller variation is gonna work really well as a bonefish fly. And of course, you'll be able to use it for permit if one comes along as well. Number seven on our list is the mini puff. And this is a bonefish fly that I probably wouldn't grab first out of the box, but I find that th like the bitters, this is another pattern that tends to work well when bonefish start to get a little picky. It's not a fly that they're gonna have seen all the time, but one that does catch those spookier fish. This fly is designed to imitate some sort of a spawning shrimp. And shrimp will often have an egg sac with them when they're in that spawning stage. And this kind of sort of imitates that, maybe if you're a bonefish. And last but not least is the Turnef Micro Shrimp. And this is tied on a light wire hook and it just doesn't really weigh much. In fact, it's really balanced so that it just barely sinks in the water. And this is gonna be the perfect fly for those tailing fish, particularly if they're tailing in very, very, very skinny water. Now, you might argue that this is merely a blind Crazy Charlie and you'd be right, but there's a little bit of variation in here for you and this is a great pattern for those super skinny fish. And there you have it, our top eight must-have bonefish flies. But before you go, I wanted to take a minute and talk about weight, specifically the weight of your bonefish flies. So we talked a little bit earlier in our video about tying blind flies, and I can't stress enough how important it is to have a great variation in size and weight when you go bone fishing. In fact, I'd argue that you're probably better off having one pattern in a variety of sizes and weights over 10 patterns that are all about the same. So we showed you the gotcha, a very basic pattern. Here it is in a blind weightless variation here. And this is gonna be your go-to weight when bonefish are tailing, whenever they're in super, super shallow water. Then we showed you a small bead chain variation. So this is gonna work for, say, a foot or two of water. Bonefish that are shallow, but not so shallow that they're gonna spook instantly whenever you get a fly anywhere near them. Then there's this larger bead chain variation. And of course, larger fly, larger beads, it's gonna sink a little bit faster, land not quite as softly, but it gets down much better and much easier. So when those fish are coming along the bottom, they'll eat it. And last but not least, I've actually tied this foxy gotcha variation on lead eyes. And again, this is gonna be for deeper water still. So think three to four feet for these lead eyes. And again, having variation weight is so critical for bonefish because they're gonna to wanna to eat any one of these patterns off the bottom. And if you don't get it down in front of them fast enough, they're not gonna eat it. Similarly, bonefish are super spooky. So if you use too much weight, it's gonna hit the water too hard and that fish is gonna be long gone before you get the chance to cast again. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have a favorite bonefish pattern that we didn't cover today, let us know by leaving a comment in the box below. Of course, all of the patterns that we discussed today are available at tridentflyfishing.com. And if you have any questions, give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24 seven at support at tridentflyfishing.com. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.